Colonel Frederick Robertson Aikman VC, the 6th of February 1828 to the 5th of October 1888, was a Scottish recipient of the Victoria Cross, the highest and most prestigious award for gallantry in the face of the enemy that can be awarded to British and Commonwealth forces. Early life Aikman was born on the 6th of February 1828 and later baptized on the 4th of May. He was the son of Captain George Robertson Aikman and decided to follow his father into military service. Military career Aikman joined the Bengal Army, and went on to serve for 18 years. He fought in the First Anglo-Sikh War, including being present at the Battle of Sobrayan. During the Second Anglo-Sikh War, he was assigned to Major General Hugh Wheeler's forces until the Indian Rebellion of 1857. During that war, he fought in a number of battles including the Siege of Delhi and the capture of Lucknow. At the age of 30 years, and while a lieutenant in the 4th Bengal Native Infantry, Bengal Army during the Indian Mutiny when the following deed took place on 1 March 1858 near Amethi, India, for which he was awarded the VC. This officer, commanding the 3rd Sikh cavalry on the advanced picket, with 100 of his men, having obtained information, just as the force marched on the morning of 1 March last, of the proximity, three miles off the high road, of a body of 500 rebel infantry, 200 horse, and two guns, under Musahib al Ctuckbdar, attacked and utterly routed them, cutting up more than 100 men, capturing two guns, and driving the survivors into, and over, the Gumti. This feat was performed under every disadvantage of broken ground, and partially under the flanking fire of an adjoining fort. Lieutenant Aikman received a severe sabre cut in the face in a personal encounter with several of the enemy. He ended his military career with the rank of colonel in the service of the Middlesex Regiment Volunteers after retiring on half pay due to the injury he sustained in the Victoria Cross action. On 4 March 1862, Aikman married Louisa Grace Hargreaves at St. Stephen's, Paddington. He was appointed a member of the Honourable Corps of Gentlemen at Arms, the Queen's official bodyguard, on 13 May 1865, having been nominated by Lord Thomas Foley. While a member of the Guard, he was charged with being drunk and disorderly while in charge of four horses and a coach. He and a group of his friends and servants had been returned from a trip to the Epsom races when he was arrested after driving recklessly. Aikman was one of the jurors in Tichborne v. Lushington. Death and Legacy Aikman was one of 55 men awarded the Victoria Cross who were painted by Louis de Sanges between 1859 and 1862. These paintings went on display at the Crystal Palace in the 1860s and 70s. Aikman's painting is now owned by and stored in the National Army Museum. Their collection also holds a second painting of Aikman, a portrait by Captain George Agnew Goldenham which was created around 1860. There are four photographic portraits of Aikman held by the National Portrait Gallery. Colonel Aikman, died suddenly on 5 October 1888 during the county ball at Hamilton, Lanarkshire. He is buried in Kensal Green Cemetery in London. He remained one of the Queen's bodyguard until his death.